taking a shed load of damage. <laughs> It's possible to turn in a quest even without finishing all of its objectives. No, I wouldn't turn in a quest without finishing the objectives. Why would I do that? Upgrades. Oh, that's good. Turn a bitten apple into a tree. Okay. Turning it in further down here. Report to preparation committee member T Mang. Okay. will give you a free mount to raise. Ah, so there must be a quest around here to raise a mount. Right, turn this in. Aranzeb's memories were passed down from generation to generation. Not with conscious effort, but as an intuitive part of elven nature, Aranzeb became not only the last elven king, but the spiritual ancestor of his entire race. However, over time, the memories began to fade. All elves trained for the day they could avenge their fallen king by slaying his murderer. But Aranzeb's thoughts had dulled in their hearts. Only those warriors who trained the hardest in the battle arts, who devoted themselves most completely to elven magic, found that they could recall Aranzeb's memories with true clarity. The more they learned, the more skilled they became, the more they remembered. On the field of honor, you felt wisps of Aranzeb's memories swirling and condensing within your mind. Okay. Go to weapon stand in the building behind me, pick out competition blade, okay?
Jewel of Competition Blade to a new unite. Request a jewel. <clears throat> Helps you move faster. They can be purchased in shops or received as quest rewards. Well, that was easy enough. On to the turn-in, and it keeps reminding us about this uh, mount quest. I don't know where it is in this area. You'd never before fought a human. They'd never before been allowed on the field of honor. As your Nuian opponent raised his blade, the image of his face reflected on the gleaming metal. But it wasn't his face. The reflection showed an angry, dark-haired man with a taunting sneer. The vision lasted only an instant, but your heart explained what your mind could not. The man you'd seen was Aranzeb's murderer, his former friend turned enemy, Jean. Jean had become Kyrios, the god of destruction, but Aranzeb had hated him long before that. Even before the expedition, Jean was the subject of Aranzeb's unhappiest memories. Jean's actions after receiving the power of a god had only fueled Aranzeb's anger and facing a human in battle had caused you to briefly look out through his eyes. Right, what else you got for us? Okay. Oh, we've got these to get rid of as well. Let's get rid of these. Right click an item in your bag to automatically equip it on your character. Right, Elven Sword. Elven Staff, we need that. Yes. Elven Bow. to check to see if you could actually equip a shield at the same time as a, a two-hander but you can't. Right, uh, talk to Orcad Nabil in Memoria, wherever that is. That's all the way over there. This might be the mount thing. Yes, is it? Yes, it is. Yes, this is the one. Deliver the elk to elk calf to Gina Mall. This could be a while. F 
59 minutes to deliver it. Can't use it while I've got this on my bike. Great. This could take a while, guys. We'll make a coffee or something. Please tell me you can jump. Yes. <laughs> Make fancy walking all the way around. Right. Alright, take a Vita Seed. Feed your elk Vita root just at the right time to magically speed up the maturation process. Plant a Vita seed in the public stable. Okay. Twenty-five seconds, and it should turn into a Vita root. I think they call it. What's that? Get rid of that. Elven loot. Oh, we can do that and equip that, can't we? Three seconds. Amuse the baby. All right, okay. That must be the first part of the growth, yes. Five, four, three, two, one. What do you know? Water. We need water. Where's water? There's the well. the final stage, I think it is. Oh. <laughs> I've got to dance for it. Ooh, 
very nice. White elk. I like that. Right click the mount icon in your bag to summon it. Drag the icon to your shortcut bar for quicker. Drag the icon to the shortcut bar. And G to get on it. Very nice. Heals or revives gravely wounded pets, okay. Right, well there we go, we have our mount. Very nice. Right, we'll call it there for today I think folks. I don't think I'll have time to get in the final race before the uh, beta finishes. Unfortunately, so what, let me know what you think of Arcage. Uh, my opinion so far, I like it. I think I like it. It seems a bit old schooly in it the way it's uh, put together. I like the graphics. Graphics are very nice. I don't think there's anything really new that I've seen apart from the, the climbing of the trees. I've not done that in any more before. I don't think. All the quests seem similar to everything I've played before. Uh, mounts, crafting, you still have to get all the materials for it. Everything seems the same on that. I look forward to it coming out so I can give it a, a full go and see how we, uh, how we get on with it then. I hope we'll get an invite to the next beta. Would be nice to try it a bit further. So let me know what you guys think in the, uh, the comments below. Let me know what you think of the game. And if you like the videos, please leave a like and subscribe. It'd be very, 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 very helpful. Thanks very much, guys. This is All Grace signing off.